Hey folks, temperatures across the valley tonight are cooling slowly. It won't be as cool as last night. We're all in the 70s still right now. 73 Brownsville, Harlingen, and Edinburgh both at 70 degrees. Everybody else a little warmer than that. Future track suggests that overnight tonight reading has touched the upper 60s briefly. You saw it, but then by 8 o'clock in the morning, we're back in the low 70s again. And by afternoon, probably up uh, upper 80s and low 90s across the region. There'll be more humidity tomorrow than today, probably more clouds, and perhaps even a sprinkle or two, but nothing widespread in terms of precipitation. Then tomorrow night into Wednesday morning, notice we start Wednesday very warm and humid. Temperatures start the day in the upper 70s. That's kind of a July like morning. And then by afternoon, we climb into the mid 90s in most of the valley, hotter out west, 102 in Rio Grande City, about 79 at the beach. Now it's Wednesday night, early Thursday when things get a little more interesting. A cool front will sweep through during the late night, early morning hours and will start cooler, not cold, but cooler on Thursday and then only warm into the 80s instead of the 90s. So pretty good cool down courtesy of that front. Here's what we'll do temperature wise, 90, 93, then 85 on Thursday and then back up around 90 as we head into the weekend, not far from normal. Here's the European computer model shows what's going on. It shows that tomorrow is just a warm and humid day. It's tomorrow night. This is tomorrow afternoon at one o'clock. Front's not here yet, but tomorrow night after midnight sometime that front sneaks into the region and it may trigger a thunderstorm or two around. We're going to have to keep a close eye on that on Wednesday night for you because there is potential for an isolated severe storm embedded within this line Wednesday night. So it's just something, again, we'll keep an eye on for you. By Wednesday afternoon, the front's pulling away, dry air's building in, and Thursday afternoon, Friday, look like really nice days with low humidity, cool mornings, and warm afternoons. By Saturday, Sunday, the flow starts to come back around to the southeast. That warms us back up again, but still looks like a pretty good weekend with no other big fronts scheduled anytime soon. There is that slight risk or a marginal risk for severe weather late Wednesday night, early Thursday. Notice that color green is way over here. It's the lowest category, so it's just a slight possibility, a marginal risk for isolated severe storms overnight Wednesday night. Your rain chances tomorrow about 10%, brief shower. We go up to or Wednesday night and Thursday all the way up to 50%, and then after that, the chance of rain goes away. So for tonight, mainly clear. A few clouds show up later on. A low of about 67 southeasterly winds. And then tomorrow, back up to 90. Clouds thickening up as the day goes on. Could be a sprinkle or two around, but nothing big. It's Wednesday night, Thursday. We've got that chance for a thunderstorm with a slight possibility. Something goes severe on us with perhaps some hail or damaging winds. We'll watch that. And Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're back to lots of sunshine. Highs near 90, lows back in the 50s for a couple of nights. Again, pretty comfortable for the early part of May. That is your updated first one five.